Now to that breaking news on the manhunt for a man deemed armed and dangerous by police and the corrections officer who was accused of helping him escape from jail. Here's CBS's Scott McFarlane with the fast-moving developments. The search for murder suspect Casey White ended nearly 220 miles from where it started. White escaped in Alabama jail late last month with the help of Vicki White. They're not related, but Vicki has worked at the jail where Casey was being held. I knew we would catch him. It was just a matter of time. Investigators caught a break in Evansville, Indiana, where U.S. Marshals arrived Sunday when an abandoned truck was recovered at a car wash and was tied to Casey White. The car wash operator shared surveillance images of him with authorities. We got a dangerous man off the street today. Uh, he is never going to see the light of day again. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing for not just our community, but that's a good thing for this country. Casey White had suffered only a minor injury when police took him into custody. But Vicki had suffered an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. And according to reports late tonight, died from her injuries. You know, I had every bit of trust in Vicki White. Uh, she has been an exemplary employee. And what in the world provoked her or prompted her to pull a stunt like this, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know. The sheriff says Casey White will eventually be extradited to Alabama. Scott McFarland, CBS News.